hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this lateral seven video tutorial we will see that how we can make the form validations so these are the points that we are going to cover in this video so guys i'm just going to use my last form which i just created in the previous video if you did not watch this video yet you can get the link from the description box and if you are a beginner then i am going to recommend you that you must have to watch the previous video right so for applying the form validation we just need to do three steps with a simple form we get the simple form pre uh, uh, from the previous video after that we have to apply the form validations inside the controller and show the message on the view part uh, with the html all right and we can just show the message with the two ways one is we can just show the all validation on a single list after that we can just show the validation message just below to the field right for example uh, this is my form here you can see that and uh, in one case i will show the whole, whole validation here in this part and in the second way i will just show you the form validation just below the uh, field with the red highlighted color and this is more user friendly all right so now let's start so first of all uh, these are I'm just going to show the video uh, the files uh, first one is the web.php here we just make the routes after that the blade.php we here we have just simple form and at the last this is the user controller where we just have to apply the form validation so let's apply the form validations here first of all yeah so just write here dollar r eq this is the request which is just coming from the form and we just have to validate it with the validation method and it will just take some array in the array we can just pass the fields that i just want to make the validate so let's say i have the two fields let's show the name first of all yeah so i have a address and the emails all right so let's apply the validation on them let's just apply the validation require uh, address must be required right so I will just show you the uh, required validation for a moment and after some time I will show you that how we can apply the main max email validation and all right so uh, in the second let's apply the email also and email also be validate uh, now now let's try to hit this form so I'm just going to add like address noida and email address some some fake email address like this and here you can see that we are able to see the request here but if I just go back and blank the field and I'm just going to submit that then it will just redirect me back here you can see that it's redirecting back and there is no message because validation are applied but there is no message for now so just come back to the user.blade.php file and here just simply write here double curly brackets and use uh, dollar errors right and now let's see what actually happened now you can see that we are able to see the validation message but they are not actually uh, very user friendly they are just kind of object and array I don't know if uh, just uh, no common people to see that he cannot understand it all right so let's make it some just show it with some sense so for that actually uh, we will use the if condition first of all and we will use the for each loop so first of all let's check if there is some error then we will use the for each loop at the rate if and here I'm just going to check here dollar errors any if we have any error so guys if you're seeing that what is the at the rate then this is the derivatives of the blade template blade template uh, this one is here right so if I have a page like user.php then it's not going to work it will work only user.blade.php template in the next uh, just upcoming two or three videos I will tell you everything about the blade template because this is a very basic so just you can just understand it very simply right so now let's uh, use the end if and inside it let's take a div file okay let's take a div div tag and inside the div, div tag just use for each with the for each just use here dollar errors all 
as dollar eir or you can just put any variable name here right and now just use the mm, mm, just close this for each loop just use and it and outside it just take a ul and here let's take it now fine and inside it just take a li also so that we can just make some listing with the double curly brackets to use dollar eir all right so now let's see how it's showing then okay so let me check what is that no i actually have to choose here n for each now let's try let's try to submit it once again and now you can see that we got the both errors all right so if email address is not blank then it will just show the one error here all right that's perfect so now let's say uh, i just want to add some minimum and maximum characters validation and here so that's how we can apply so with the address i just want to make minimum three characters and maximum uh, seven characters right and email will be required and it it should be a email type only right so now let's try to submit it if i'm just going to put a one character and blank it then you can see that email is required and address must be three characters so if i just put here three characters like <laughs> daily there are five that's fair enough and in the email i just put here abc then it will just tell you that email must be a valid email address right so just put it like this and like daily then it will be gonna working fine right so if i just use here maximum character length if exceeded then it will just sell, tell that address may not be greater than the seven characters that's perfect working fine but how can i show this error here all right so let's see that how we can show it here for that i just have to just remove it for now and on just below my uh, input field just use uh, at the rate uh, error derivative just use error and uh, with the error i am just going to put the name of it and this is the address error which belong to here just write here address right and uh, at the last just use here and error right and between them i can just simply use a span like this and here just put here double curly brackets and use messes now let's try to see it if i just um mm, 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 mm. Uh, yeah i actually i have to use a dollar error message that's my bet just now you can see that the error fil uh, field is required so if you're just seeing that it's not uh, looking fine then you can just add a br tag also here and the same thing mm -hmm. just use the br tag like this and you can add some color also here just use some style and with the style just use here color is red now just copy it from here and paste it just below to the email and just put here email for the error now now let's try to see now you can see that you are just seeing the perfect error message like this i just put here some two characters and uh, invalid email like this then let's try to submit then it will just showing that the address must be three characters and the email must be a valid email address so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care